up YouTube. Um, forgot, I just got on the trail and forgot to do an intro. But today is uh, July 9th. Um, I am currently packed up, loaded up. I have the four wheeler fill. I got two tree stands to hang. I got a mineral site to put out. Um, probably gonna do a couple mock scrapes, kind of take a peek a little bit, but I'm not gonna try to go, you know, crazy or nothing. But um, yeah, uh, we're trying to get prepared. I killed my buck last year off of it. Um, but I got a couple bigger bucks that I'm gonna try to go after this year. So I think I know their pattern a little bit from all my intel from last year. I got five cameras to put out, so come along. I'll record what I can and we'll just see what happens. As you can tell, they've been hitting this mineral site since the last year and they've dug about four or five inches down in the ground. So I'm gonna freshen this up. And as you can tell, it's, it's thick back here, man. My blind has been left up since last October and you can barely see it right now. So all this has got to have to be kind of cleaned up a little bit. And um, or I can try to get in a tree, but I really ain't got no clear shots. I'm going to have to clean all this up if I want to get in that tree back there. All these have poison ivy on them. They're too close. And they've been coming down into this or they'll come from back here where the railroad tracks meets and come in here or they'll come from up there on top and come down. So let's get this mineral site kind of cleaned up a little bit. place it right in the middle just like that and they'll just work it down not so, not so much for the bucks I mean the bucks will come in here, here and hit this as long as I can get the does to stay this is the center of the highway they come in from all different directions so as long as I can keep the does coming but I need to decide if I want to try to hang a set in here I really ain't got no trees, that's the problem. If I get too high, I won't be able to see them come in. I'm just trying to decide if I want to hang a tree stand in here or just keep the blind sitting the way it is. It's a 10 yard shot to this major trail through here. And I'm not really gonna plan on hunting this spot unless I know for a fact that they're coming in here during the daylight. And the last two years on my camera history, I've got big bucks coming through here in the afternoon going to the bean field or corn field, whatever year it is. So I think I don't know. I'm having a hard time deciding. I think I'm gonna hang my trail camera on this tree this year because I had it behind us and uh, I just didn't like the angle of it. So I think I'm gonna put it here. I like to put sticks behind there to get it angled. So now I got it pointed back that way. So there's a trail that runs right here. So I'll be able to get that, get them coming from this side, 
as they come this way, I'll be able to get them here. Won't be in direct, direct eye line of them either because it's about six foot off the ground. Uh, four more cameras to put out. I'm going to go up here on the ridge and top and maybe throw a couple up there. This is where they've been coming up the down in the back in the steep steep hill. There's doe tracks. Just drops, drops right, right off. They've been bedding, they've been bedding down in there. Looks like they got a pretty good trail right here. Side hill in this. I might put a camera right here just to see what's cruising this. Maybe this is just a really good ambush spot. Got a pretty view in the winter too. Yeah, there's one right here. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's a pretty decent buck track. Well, it is hot. Taking a break because I'm sweating up a storm. and That's why I really like doing this stuff <coughs> right after the season because it's not as hot and kind of know, know where they're, where they're going at the time and you can set up on good trails and stuff. You can scout, which I do, but I haven't done a good job the last couple of years. But I'm about, you know, I'm about 20 feet off the ground. I got very little cover up here. I had to pick a pretty open tree, but I got this big guy here and this big guy here in the trail. The trail was running right, right through there. So it should just be a nice little 10 yard shot. I have a whole lot of cover up here, but I got these big boys right here to kind of help break me up and kind of draw. Maybe I'll be able to draw uh, while they're walking past it or something. But I had a camera down here last year and I had some big, probably one, 140s, 150s cruising through here every morning, coming back to bed. So and I got one more tree stand to set up on top. Of the ridge so maybe I can catch them coming to the field at night this will be my morning spot I'm gonna have to take that trail out and walk all the way down the railroad tracks I'm gonna have to walk a long way to get to this spot in the morning but I don't know access is key and picking the right tree is key and I don't know I uh, I'm excited for this year I'm ready to kill something I've got that itch and only got about two and a half months to go, but I don't know how I'm going to get my camera arm over here and get all that. I'll have to play with that. I don't know if I can get it lower or maybe get up, come around this side and, and put the camera arm right here and then so I can shoot that way. Let me know in the comments what kind of camera arm you guys are using. Um, obviously, I think I'm going to go with the fourth arrow. But I'm having a tough decision deciding between the micro satellite and the, um, the Talon one. Um, they're both three pieces. One's a little bit heavier duty and it has a 360 mount. And the other one just has the uh, little mount. I'm trying to go as light as I can and not blow the bad budget out of the water, but... I need a good camera arm in two months because mine shot the crap and I got this nice new camera and I need to uh, have a camera arm to put it on. All right, on to the next. Well, that's going to wrap it up today. I got one set hung and I got that mineral, sky, uh, mineral site all uh, freshened up. But um, I kind of wanted to do like a little... A gear review real quick 
I got something new that just came in the mail, so let me pull that out real quick while we're sitting here talking. This is the new pack for the year. This is the Mystery Ranch Pop-Up 40. And uh, I'm really excited to get this thing out and check it out and uh, put it to the test this year. Um, I haven't really did a review on what I was using the last year or so, but this is my other pack. This is the this is the Eberly Stock Bandit, and then I have the hip belt, and then I got their big molly bag for my repel rope. So I think I'm gonna move the repel rope bag over to the move the repel rope bag over to this Mystery Ranch pack, and. Um, I'm excited for this because I needed a way to be able to guarantee that I would have the pack necessary to pack out an animal. A lot of times I'm by myself. I don't have, I mean, Scott and Jake, Justin, they'll all drop, drop everything on a dime to come help me. But um, just for the peace of mind, if I ever need to pack something out, I can't pack it out with that Eberly stock. So, if you guys haven't checked out Mystery Ranch, this is uh, this is a sweet bag because it's a uh, it's a frame style pack that uh, that allows you to pull the bag away from the frame to put a meat bag in there. Um, and I'm really excited to just kind of fit this one out with my one sticking equipment, and um, I think it's going to be a really awesome pack. <clears throat> Try it on here real quick. I have to adjust it to me, I'm sure. But I haven't. I played with them one time. Played with them one time at Shields. And I'm a bigger guy. I like that they cinch down, pulling away. But this is the XL. So get that on there like that. And then first instincts is first instincts is it feels pretty good. Of course, it's pretty low profile to your back. It feels pretty good. I'm excited to get this thing out and fully pack it up. And what I also like about it is if I don't want to take in my um, my saddle platform and I want a tree stand hunt, I'll be able to run my XOP stand between the pack and the frame. That'll give me another, just another tool to uh, help, you know, get on these deer and get in a situation where I can be successful, so. First, first impressions though, it feels really good. It fits in every, it fits in every little nook and cranny and feels really good around the top of my pack and my bag. And I like that it's not hanging past the, my pant line. So I, uh, let's close this one out guys. I, like I said in my last video, I got two months till Missouri opener. Are you guys ready? Because I sure am. I plan on trying to get on a decent buck, you know, early. Trying to get out here and trying to get some stuff done and stuff that I've been putting off. And it's always better to be late than never. So 